Let's play. Terrific tussles between the two down the years. Lewis, oh, brilliant, absolutely brilliant. Right in the middle, nicely done from James Wade. in Birmingham, dead great against Adrian Lewis over the night. Wade won 7-4 when he met in Leeds. Lewis's form has improved since then, though. Yes, the last six weeks, he's been playing extremely well. As you said, two weeks ago, I had the nine data. Although he lost to Dave Chisholm last week, he still played some real good darts. His scoring power was still there. He mustn't let James Wade get in front of him. We know Wade is going to take out a couple of ton-plus checkouts, which just over the ton. So Lewis has got to be on his game and mustn't let Wade have the shots at those checkouts. Big night of Dars head, Nigel Pearson and Rod Studd, your opening commentators. Yeah, thanks, Dave. Yeah, big game this for Adrian Lewis. Wade, rock bottom of the eight men that made it through to the second phase of the competition after judgment night. But for Lewis here, if he can win and reverse the form from that earlier meeting that Dave was talking about against James Wade, 
that will hoist him into the top four, at least temporarily. There are some big games later tonight. Anderson versus Van Barneveld certainly stands out. Lewis, remember, has got to play twice. He'll be Game here. on. Bringing the curtain down along with Michael Van Gerwen. James Wade, can he spoil Adrian Lewis's plan to move into the top four? What do you reckon, Nigel? 96. Well, there is a feeling, isn't there, really, that uh, James Wade is up against it to make it through to the 0-2 and that he's going to have to win every remaining game, which is a tall order, and also hope the results go his way elsewhere. It's out of his hands, really, at the moment, uh, James Wade. All he can do is play his normal game and hope for the best, but really, it's a tall order for James Wade no, from here. He goes down the board, but Lewis, we have seen him at his very best a couple of weeks ago in Liverpool. A magnificent performance again. Against Raymond oh, van Barnevel and uh, still has put himself right in contention. It's a good way to start tonight. These two who arrived on the scene at a similar time, both young talents back in the day, and still playing at the very highest level now. Good way to up and up here in Birmingham tonight. Plenty of room for a third. Almost the first max. More importantly, Lewis has got himself into pole position for an early break of throw here. Prior to last week's loss, he's won five out of six. Looking to regain the winning thread. Another dart there. Would have left double 12 if it had been to the left of that wire. 72 left. He's going to be back anyway because Wade not on a finish here. So a real opportunity for Adrian Lewis for a break of throw in the very first leg of the game. 16 for tops for Lewis. Gets the 16, he's got two darts in hand. It's a bit wayward, but it come down significantly and no mistake that time. Adrian Lewis off and running with a break of throw. Now, can he build on that? Six wins, one draw, five defeats. A couple of points here. We'll put him, as you said earlier, Rod, above Van Barneveld and Gary Anderson. Very much in the frame. I think if he could come home with uh, three points from tonight's two games against Wade and Van Gogh, and he'd be absolutely delighted. Van as good as qualified for the finals night at the 0-2, but the other three places very much up for grabs. Peter Wright very 77. strongly fancied to pick up one of them, but then Taylor Anderson, Van Barneman and Lewis might be looking for two seats between them when the music stops. Yes, Chisnell on 12 from 13, maybe played one game too many to give him a chance of sneaking in there. We have seen players who play twice in a night transform their campaign. 120. Have transformed this leg had the third dart found its target. As Wade manages to pick up two red bits. Bottom of the stats for maximum is Wade, and he had 19, and he's had five ducks when he hasn't had a maximum at all on an evening. And Adrian Lewis has got a touch of the bounce out or the fallouts. Yeah, Wade with a real opportunity to kick back immediately. Needed the treble there. 65. Hit the 25. You'd fancy he's going to be back from here, but it's still a three dart combo. If Lewis allows him here, this would be some party piece. So Wade is going to be back, but he'll need three darts for this for a breaker throw and to level the game. Treble 15 would leave tops. Can't find the treble. Opportunity now for Adrian Lewis. Similar kind of finish. No finish for Lewis too. So Wade looking at tops here. Three in hand. One will do. The match is level after two rings of throw. Yeah, that'll calm him a little bit because uh, he has missed a few finishes in recent weeks. James Wade mainly at the bull, of course, but. He's uh, still a top, top quality player. Wouldn't expect to see him adrift like he is now. Another player who's already had 13 outings in the Premier League. Still waiting for the first maximum of this one. 
one good voice here in Birmingham today. It's very, very close by the city centre. 100. The fans around the Broad Street area, certainly from late af afternoon here today. Travelled in by train from the surrounding areas. Here at the Barclay Card Arena. Trouble 20 is the shot now. 92. Lewis needs a big one here now. It's a good start, good follow up. He's going to switch down the board. 130, sir. Well, third possible break of throw on the trot here. Produces the chances of a third straight break, but it doesn't eliminate them because Lewis is looking at 1 2 4. 14 for the ball. For the ball. 99. Oh, a bit closer. It's a real effort from Lewis, wasn't it? Meets tops now, James Wade. For a hold of throw. Nicely done. Hasn't missed a double yet. His throw takes a 2 1 advantage here. Well, last week against Dave Chisner, when Lewis lost by seven legs to three, he was unlucky on a couple of uh, bull attempts, bull finishes. Wired them both in very similar style to the one we just witnessed there. I wonder if it'll be a similar story tonight. If narrowly missed opportunities for Jackpot. Yeah, he lost, but still, if he before 180s, he matched Chizzy where the 180 count went. But um, Chizzy with a 103.9 average last week. 100. Three win to see off AD Lewis. And we remind you, this is the first of two games for Adrian tonight. He is up against MVG in the final 96. game of the evening here in Birmingham. Tidy from James Wade, nicely done. It's a snatchy first half from Adrian. Which way is he going to go now? Down for the triple 19. Nice use of the cover from Lewis. Leaves a two dart combo if he comes back from this. Treble 20 for, Lu for Wade. If he hits the treble 19, well, he hasn't. He would have left the ball. So there is an opportunity now for AD Lewis to come back here and level this game. 12 for tops. Two darts in hand, tops the target, and tops he gets. It's level. Two legs apiece in the opening game of the night. Yeah, it's gone one way, then the other. Adrian Lewis had an early lead. Wade turned it around to lead 2 1. Now level at two apiece. Nice. Uh, Arrington and Dave Clark were saying. Before we got underway, no margin for error now for the players chasing playoff spots. Any defeat could be fatal to their chances of making it to the big dance at the 0 2. Yeah, it's a big game for Adrian, as you said right at the start of the game, Rod, because two defeats tonight could be a crushing blow. Could almost finish him off, although there's still two games to come. He faces Peter Wright and Sheffield next week, and then he's got the power last up in Aberdeen. 140. Two defeats for Adrian tonight. Certainly could be a crushing blow. Let's see. Long way to go in this one yet. 58. Uh, Trouble 17 now. 117. As it was, still leaves a two dart combination and a possible 14 dart leg with. Lewis adrift here, so Wade looking to re-establish his lead. One hundred and forty. scores in this leg. Major requires sixty-six. Wade well, got that last dart in the treble twenty was very, very impressive. Twelve for tops for James. Big shot coming in. Hits it again. Three out of three, and the finish for James Wade. Kept his call superbly with the pressure on there. Just feels like James is more in control at the moment now. He stepped it up a level, Rod. Yeah, it was a scratchy start, but he's improved. He's at four ton 40s. As you mentioned, three out of three on the doubles. 134. Doing him any harm. 
started to find the cover shots as well. So Wade now, who's had a torrid run in the Premier League 57. in recent weeks. He did beat Phil Taylor a couple of weeks ago, but that is only win in his last six outings. James Wade, one of only five players to have won the Premier League since its inception back in 2005. Some eight years ago now that Wadey was the champion. 41. Since then, of course, the emergence of Michael Van Gerwen as a dominating force has restricted other people's opportunities. 81. Van Gerwen, the reigning champion, Gary Anderson the year before, and Barney in 2014, of course. 99. This now is a real chance for the first two-leg lead for either player in this match. Wade will be first to a finish, 60. although a long-range one, but he will have a stab at that to break the Lewis throw and go... Both players have broken throw once so far. Oh, he's hit the treble, 20. Can he hit the treble, 17? Well, he needs the ball here. This to get level again. 14 would leave tops for Adrian Lewis. Gets the 14. He's got one dart at tops. Oh, nicely done. Well, they're both hitting tops quite nicely. Both players. One break of throw now you feel could decide it. 48. Is this a chance for Lewis? Can he hit one of his trademark 180s? A 140 would do. All right, a ton. 100. Both players have missed an important dart at bullseye. Join the match, Lewis in leg three for a 124 and Wade for a 127. We just saw that in the last leg. Both of those darts at ball for a break of throw, which ultimately didn't happen. How important will they be? Fifty-nine. Well, James Wade not at his best there, and this is a real chance for jackpot now. One hundred and forty. Decent advantage here. Wade under pressure to hit the big numbers now. Oh, back to that 127. 60. The difference here is Lewis doesn't need to finish on the ball. Doesn't need to go treble 17 here. Treble 19, sorry. 57. As it is, leaves a two dart combination. He would have been hoping to leave a single dart, I'm sure, but he will be back for that 70 to regain the lead. Topsy turvy battle, Nigel. Yeah, it's uh, exactly as I thought it might have gone in the build-up to the game. I thought this would be tight, this one. Which way will he go? He's gone for 12 for tops now. One dart in hand and he's missed him. The opportunity is here now. Can Wadey take the lead at 4-3? Hit the treble, needs tops. Thought it was in, didn't he? Gone to retrieve the dart. Double ten. Oh, beautifully done, beautifully done from James Wade, once he found his feet again. Well, yes, a bit of tungsten trapeze artistry there, as he managed to stay on the high wire. That was the phrase I was thinking of. <laughs> and uh, hit the double, take the lead, once more at 4-3. Wade here has led 2-1-3-2 and 4-3, Lewis having led 1-0 early on in the pace. 134. Are we heading for a draw? 100. As you say, Lewis's position just outside of the top four really needs points tonight. Not sure that a draw would be much use to him. From Barnard up, Gary Anderson just above him. Well, anytime you don't beat the player or the team at the bottom of a table, you're going to see it as points lost, aren't you? Adrian Lewis will see this as a point lost if he draws, I'm sure, absolutely certain. Four. Four tops. 64. 
Four tops. It's going to be back anyway, Adrian Lewis, to level this now. 140. Nice pressure from Wade, though. So big shot coming in now. Topsy needs. He's got to switch for double ten. Making hard work of this. Oh, superb. Just when the pressure was on at double five, Lewis gets there superbly. Well, that potentially a very big last start in hand, double five from Adrian Lewis, because Wade was waiting on 80. Would almost certainly have got at least one dart at double to go 5-3. Lewis with the clutch double five, now levels at 4-4. Four, four. Mm. Tense tussle on this opening contest here in Birmingham. With MVG ready to strut his stuff against Dave Chisnell next. 140. Table as it stands then, we know that Adrian Lewis is just outside that top four on 13 points. Wade, bottom of the remaining eight, and up against it really to make it through to the 0-2 from here. Lewis needs the win, one really... Not that much benefit to him when you bear in mind he's playing Michael Van Gogh at the end of the night. Don't rule him out of that. Double 18 here. Can he use that as a marker? Dear, oh dear, he'll be annoyed at that. He will, and he could be punished. There'll be one dart, and one dart only, a double top for the machine. Well, that was his, well, as he indicated, his worst dart at double top of the night. By a mile. Split it now. Double four for a break of throw, and he's missed the opportunity. He can touch the tension up there. Oh, he's gone low this time. Well, he couldn't miss tops earlier. Now he's got one dart, a double ten, and he gets there. Relief written all over the face of James Wade. They both made hard work of that, didn't they? 76. Well, Lewis had... Five, well, effectively five at double. Double 18 and double nine. 140. Remarkably, we haven't had a 180 yet. Adrian has hit 41 in the Premier League so far. We haven't had one in this match. Dave Chisnell and Michael Van Gerwen up next. Phil Taylor, One. Peter Wright on the way. Gary Anderson, Raymond Van Barneveld. And Lewis is back at the end of the night against MVG. 100. Really needs to salvage something from this game, Adrian Lewis. Well, he's got to win the remaining three legs to win. Two of them would be on his own throw, mind you. But it's now looking unlikely. He hasn't led since the opening leg of the match, which he won to lead one zip. Wade here will have a chance to break. We've seen him miss a ball for a 1 2 7 tonight. He won't get a shot on this visit there. Now, Lewis, can he take out the 102? He's hit the trouble 14 to leave tops. Again, the big finish eludes him. Only 27% at the finish for Adrian Lewis. 16 for tops for James Wade. Hits this, he will not be beaten tonight. He will not be beaten. It's a point of best for Adrian Lewis now. Could this be a significant blow to Adrian Lewis's playoff hopes? It's a break of throw. And if James Wade holds here, two points on the board. Since that double five. In leg eight, which leveled the match for Adrian Lewis, he's missed five darts at double. He could have won leg nine and he could have won leg ten. He's won neither of those, he's lost both of them, and now trails 6-4. And this would be a hammer blow to his playoff hopes. 
we've mentioned Van Gerwen to play next. If he loses here to James Wade, eighth place James Wade, and loses to table topping MVG, it's, it's not quite good night O2 Arena, but it's pretty close to it for Adrian Lewis. Because the other players are playing each other, they will all be picking up points, or some of them will be picking up points, and he'll find himself with a lot of work to do. He really needs these next two legs now, shouldn't he? Yeah, the best that he, he'd want really from the Anderson Van Barnevelt would be a draw then, wouldn't it really? 96. For Van Barnevelt and Anderson, Gary's on 14, Van Barnevelt's on 14. That would move them on to 15 points apiece. And if Adrian Lewis walks away from here on 13 points, he's still in touching distance, but still a tall order. Still a tall order. 59. Can't Adrian hit the big number there. Leaves a finish, but it's still the three dark combo. One for tops to take the victory. James Wade. 61. Wayward. Gone too high. Hits the treble 20. 14. Treble 14 leaves double 11 to save the match. 113. Is that the end? As Wade steps forward for tops. It is the end. And it may be the beginning of the end for Adrian Lewis's playoff hopes in the Premier League. Because James Wade wins for only the second time in seven starts in this competition. And it's a crucial blow. His doubling better than Adrian Lewis's in the end. No 180s in the back. 7 4 though. James Wade. Put your back into it.